Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2 with myself, Lewis. Have you been brilliant? Have yourself a great day, as always. Now, in the last episode, we did a little boo boo and I kind of messed up recording of the first one, but we did get some stuff done. We got a chopper down so that we can make loads of wood. I've currently got it kind of offline because I have more than enough wood. I don't need any more than wood than this at the minute, so. All of that, as well as the cobble and the lava, and we started working on getting our Britannia flowers for seed ready to go. That's probably going to take some time, so don't expect anything from that soonish. I'm just going to let it work. It's magic. The only ones that I've changed so far are these blue ones, and I have a, a one-two one. So it's going to it's going to take a long time. So I'm just going to leave it. You know, I'm not in any rush to do that, and then we'll come back to it later on. As well as getting this stuff for dirt, we got like you know almost the two stacks worth, or about a stack and a half worth in there for when we want to do that but i think what we're going to do today is start on making a smeltery because we're going to need that if we want to upgrade our tools we're going to need that to help smelt our metals all in all a smeltery is just going to be mega handy so i would like to get one of those set up and that means we can also make things like uh, the scythe and whatnot we can make it scythe so we can harvest things better it's overall going to be a win-win situation now to make a smeltery we're going to need grout and one comment that someone did say in the comment section which is super helpful for, you know, the future, it's, made me, it's allowed me to look ahead, and I never would have done this otherwise, is that it's actually best to make the smallest smeltery and then go from there, because we, uh, we don't, we don't have to keep making seared bricks, we can make seared bricks in the smeltery with cobblestone. So once I have a small smeltery made, I can just pipe cobblestone into it and then make more seared bricks. And that's going to save me having to make gravel and sand and dust and all of that. You know, clay is a pretty big one right there. So if we can get around doing that, then that's going to be great. But we are going to have to start with the basics. So grout's going to be the first thing that we need so that we can make our seared bricks. And if we do gravel, sand and clay, we're going to get eight grout. Now we are going to need a little bit more clay than this. I only have one so we're gonna need a little bit more now well we got two we got two at the start uh, we might as well turn this into a brick there we go good stuff oh that did oh no 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 we can do a little bit more than that can't we yeah look at that great success and we might even be able to get a couple more of this get some sand grab some gravel let's make there we go 24 grout <laughs> how amazing is that so we can get a few of these cooking up there we go, great success. And I think we'll probably need to get a few more than that as well. You know, I would quite like to get a little bit more clay anyway. So let's find ourselves a spare barrel. And I think that one up there is looking prime for the plucking because I don't really need too much more mossy cobblestone just yet. So we're going to grab this one, bring it over here just so it's easier to use. And let's get a little bit of, of water in now. I'm going to need my bucket as well. So let's go get my bucket. And I would also like to do some quests today. We have a few quests that we can do. So we might as well get cracking with those. Because hopefully, or maybe, we'll get some... Oh, I forgot about the things that spawn in there. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> well, at least he can't get out. We'll just leave him in there for now. I don't think he can trample the crops. We'll just leave him in there for... Oh, he disappeared. <laughs> He's gone. All right. So... Put a bit of water in here. We want to do this. There we go. And we'll do this a couple of times. Grab you. Put you in there. There we go. And that should hopefully be enough. I don't think I need to fill this up. The rain should fill it back up for me. So you can go sit back on there. Cool, cool. All right, so let's make a little bit more grout. So what we're going to need, we're going to need a tank. We're going to need a smeltery controller. We're going to need an outlet. We're going to need an input. And we're going to need a few other things. So here, let's have a little looky see at Tinker's Construct. All right. So first things first, we're going to need a smeltery controller. So we're going to need eight seared bricks for that. So let's craft one of those. Nice. And like I said, we're going to make like the smallest one pretty much. So we're going to need that. We're going to need a brick for the bottom. So we're going to need one of those. Let's make some more. While we've got this, we might as well make, you know, a little bit more. So let's get uh, a little bit more seared stone. There we go, 32. That'll do the trick for now. Throw it off. Let's get a little bit more coal. 
So we're going to need that. We're also going to need to get ourselves a seared. Let's just bring seared. That was probably going to be easier, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, we're going to want that. We're going to want a seared tank. So we're going to need some glass. Cool, cool. We'll grab one more of these. Now we give us our seared tank. Then we don't, well, we don't really need much more for that. We just need an outlet and a few other bits. So we'll grab that. Cool, cool. And I'm probably going to put make another infinite cobblestone generator -y thing over this way. So that we can... So I don't have to pipe all of that over there. Because that's going to be a pain in the butt. See you. And this will give me all of the, the books as well. So, you know, books. You can go in. Cool, cool. So we got a tank. We've got a smeltery controller. We're also going to want a floor for it. So we're going to need another four of these so we can make a uh, seared stone. Which is good. And this is eventually what we're going to make inside the actual casting basin as well. That reminds me, we're going to need a casting basin. We're also going to need a faucet. And we're going to need an outlet. And we're also going to need another one of the outlets as well. So that we can pump stuff into it. So, yes. If I can just do this. Yeah, there it is. So we're going to want ourselves a smeltery drain. And we're going to want two of these. Because we're going to want one for an input. And we're going to want one as an output as well. So we need a couple of these. So how much we got? We got six. That'll be enough to make one of them. Cool, cool. And while that's doing that, let's decide where we want to put it. Let's get a little bit more cobblestone. Get a little bit more of this. Because we're going to need that. And I'm thinking of doing it over this way. So, uh, yeah. I'm thinking of doing it kind of here-ish. So if we had... Because it's going to be a baby one to start with. So, we would have our smeltery controller. Cool, cool. We would have our smeltery tank. We would have our drain, which would be over this way. Actually, do we want our tank there? Yeah. Yeah, we want our tank there, don't we? That would do. Uh, do I really want to do it this small, or do I want to do it a little bit bigger? I don't know. <laughs> We could do that one there. That could do the thing. Oh, we need to... We need to do this. Oh, you're not going to work, are you? Come on. Come on. Oh, it's fine. We can do it. Like that. There we go. We'll do that. And I think what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to move you there. And then we just need a little bit more. So let's go grab this. We're going to want one more drain. There we go. And how much more have we got to cook up? Yeah, we should have enough in there. So I will put the other drain on this side. There we go. Actually, no, because then we'll have stuff going in to the controller as well, and I don't want that. So we'll have that one going that way. And we're almost done now. I think as soon as I place a seared block there, uh, it, it should work. Hopefully. I'm pretty sure we can do it, we can do it that small. So here, let's go and try. So we're going to need four of you. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can get it running right now. Let's get a seared brick. We're going to pop this in the middle. And we'll see if it works. I think it will. I'm pretty sure I've done this before. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We got a little baby smeltery. So, and this can only hold one thing at a time. But <laughs> one thing is all we need for now. So that we don't have to waste loads of grout, cobblestone, dust, and all that stuff. I would rather just waste cobblestone and lava, as that stuff is pretty much free. So, now that we've got that, we're going to need a faucet. Faux show. So we're going to need a faucet. We're not going to need a faucet for the other one, because that's just going to be an input, so we don't have to worry about that. Actually, we don't even need to have that as an input, really, do we? We could have just had that as a regular brick, because we're going to be pumping the stuff into the controller. I didn't think about that. Alright, scratch that. We don't need that other bit. <laughs> we don't. For some reason, I had it in my head that we're going to be pumping stuff into there. But we're only going to be pumping stuff into there if we're pumping metals into there. Uh, molten metals. And uh, we're not We're not going to be doing that. So We kind of wasted a little bit there. But that's fine. Let's see here. Now we've got that, let's grab these. Because we're going to need to make ourselves a casting basin. So that we can, well, cast all the things. And let's try and do that. That might be enough. One short. There we go. Cool, cool. And I think that's it. I think that's everything we need. So if we had our casting basin around here, 
There we go. Cool, cool. And I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna need to make a lower level than this. That's one thing we're definitely gonna need to do. I'm gonna need to make a lower level for this. So that when I break these, I'm guaranteed not to lose them. So I might have to make a little bit down there. But that's fine. You know. Probably gonna make a lower level anyway, so... I'm not too bothered about that, but you know what? Let's let's have a sleep quickly, <laughs> make it daytime, and hopefully this rain shall stop. Well, there we go. <laughs> Had a little sleep. Rain has stopped. Very nice. I wonder if we still got Mr. Chicken inside it. We have still got Miss Ch Mr. Chicken inside. Oh my God, he's going mental. He can actually get out if he can get onto that piece of grass. He can get out. I might have to ask him a question. There it is. <laughs> Your stuff can go in the mob drops for now. Ah, oh, it reminds me, I've got a common treasure bag as well. Let's open this. Ooh, we got a mundane belt. Then that's sweet. All right, so now that we've got that, we're going to want to make ourselves another cobble gen. We're going to do it over this way. So I think what we're going to do, because we're going to want the stuff getting piped into here. Uh, like I said, I don't think you actually need this one. I think that was my fault for putting a smeltery drain there. For some reason, I had in my head that I needed another smeltery drain. Don't really know why, because I don't think we do. But, yeah. So, we're going to do this. Now, let's have... How are we going to do this? Let's have it here. I think here's a pretty good spot. So, we would have lava, cobblestone, water. And they're going to sit on top of these blocks, because that makes a full block, I think. Yeah, good stuff. So, they're going to sit on top of there. We're going to need that there. We're going to need another lot here. Like that. We need a little bit more cobblestone. Let's go grab ourselves... Some more cobblestone slabs. I think I've got some inside here. Uh, yeah. Cool, cool. So I'll bring these over here. We'll have it like this. Wait, is that right? No, 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 no. We don't want it like that. <laughs> I'm derping again. I'm doing the derp. We want it to go round. So we want that there. So lava, cobblestone, water. Wait, no, this is way too big, isn't it? Lava, cobblestone, water. That's all we need. So we'll put that there. And then... And that's still one, isn't it? Yes. Very good. Alright, so we can break these now, because we don't need these ones. I made a little bit too many. And we can break you as well. Cool. Alright, I think that's going to do the trick. We're going to need all the other bits for it as well, but I think for now, that's going to look alright. And uh, what we should do here is instead of having it like that, we're actually going to want a piece of cobble on top. Yeah, so, actually no, that, that's fine, isn't it? Yeah. So let's go get a piece of cobblestone. We'll pop that there. We'll get the lava and the stuff from over here in a second, and then we'll get the pipes for it as well. We're going to need to get ourselves a, uh, a transfer node. That's going to be the first thing. And we're also going to want to get ourselves some transfer pipes, probably. Are we going to want to store the cobblestone? I don't think we're going to want to store the cobblestone. There's no need to store it, is there? We're going to want to make it into lava, and we're going to want it to go into the smeltery. So, we'll do that. And we're also going to want to make ourselves a... Um, uh, what's it called? We're going to want a upgrade going to want a world interaction upgrade. So we're going to want some lapis, some iron, and an iron pick. We're going to need some more iron. How much iron have I got? 24 iron. That should be enough. I'll we'll smell ourselves one of these. Yeah. So I'll have that like that. We're also going to want to make ourselves another one of those basins. And the good thing with doing that is that we're going to be able to hand in a quest. Because there is a quest that we have in here that we kind of skipped <laughs> that we should have done. Which was to make porcelain clay. But because we already got porcelain clay, we don't really have anything to worry about. So to make porcelain clay, we're going to need... Well, we're going to need a little bit more water, aren't we? So let's get another bucket. And I believe it's just clay... And bone meal? Yeah. All right. I wonder if we can do it over here. I wonder if this one's fill up. It is. Lovely jubbly. Let's get a little bit more water. I think... Uh, I think we should get enough clay from this. Let's give it a try. What do you think? Do you think we can get eight from it? Hopefully. 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we got nine. <laughs> Very nice. So let's get some of this. So bone meal and clay gives us porcelain clay. Can go back in there. And that should be enough to hand that quest in. And we've actually already done all this. So this was basically what it was to be able to make our lava. So we already done that. And that gives us two aluminium brass, which is great. We've got auto mining. We've got never rack, playing with dolls, blazes. All right. Cool. And that's going to need some, uh, some cooking action. So let's give it, uh, we'll do a couple of slabs. That should do it. Cool. Um, and what do we need for this? We need some lapis. Let's take four lapis. We're going to need some sticks for the pickaxe. There we are. And we needed a world integration upgrade. So, is that enough? We need you. We needed one, two, three, four. Yeah, good stuff. And one, two, and three, and four. Nice. So I think we have pretty much everything we need right here. Let's get our metals back inside there. You should be cooked up. Sweet. All right, so let's bring this over this way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to place our crucible above the lava because the lava is going to allow that it's going to uh, it's going to smelt the cobblestone a lot faster, which is great. So let's start with the lava. I think we'll do that. So if we get a bucket of lava and we grab ourselves piece of cobble, piece of cobble. I mean, I've really not got a spare piece of cobble. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Let's get a piece of cobble. Just uh, one will do, thank you very much. Cool, cool. So that will do that. We can place that in the middle, place our lava on the side of it. I don't think I made this in the last episode on screen, so for those of you that didn't see it, at least you're seeing it now. So we can put you here. Do you want it here? We're going to have the crucible to make the lava. And then we'll have the cobblestone. Um, you know, yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, we'll place that there. Let's get ourselves some water. We'll place it on this side. Sweet. And then we shall have a node on top with our world integration upgrade. And that should start mining cobblestone for us. And now we're going to want our crucible on top of here. So let's get this. There we go. And that will hopefully do it. Yeah. Nice. So that will do that. And we're going to want to bring our pipe up. So we'll bring it on top of this. That should start producing love for us. Yep, yeah, good stuff. And for any spare cobblestone that we get, because we're probably going to get, yeah, we're going to get a lot more spare cobblestone. We're going to want that to come over this way and go into our controller. Um, we're actually not going to want that facing that way as well, because we don't want that to, uh, you know, go that way. So if we point, kind of point it like that, that should be fine. See, so let's bring our spare cobblestone over here. And we're going to have it coming into the controller. Like this. We're going to need some more of those. Let's go get ourselves a few more of these. All right, so that should do that. I went and got some more of these, as well as getting myself some more transfer nodes. We're probably going to need more of these later on, but for now, that's going to do just fine. So they should start placing cobblestone in there, which is great. It's going to be one at a time. It's going to be slow to start with, but it's going to get faster and faster as we do it. It's another one of these things where it's best to do it this. It's like how we made the forest forest how we made the wheat before we did the stone we're going to make the small one before we do the big one and we'll end up saving loads of resources that i can sift for metals and such doing it this way it's just going to take a little bit longer so that's going to do that we've got lava going into here which is great so we're going to want the fluids to come out of this so i think what we're going to use is a fluid pipe so let's go grab ourselves one of those and we're probably going to need more of these transfer nodes while we're at so let's get couple more of those. I think I've got some more stone in here. There it is. Cool, cool. We'll make another two lots. We need one, two, oh, no, maybe not. We'll make one. <laughs> so let's grab a transfer pipe. Cool. That should be easily enough. As well as a liquid transfer node. 
And I had a couple of comments saying why am I not using the thermal expansion ones? I just prefer these ones, you know? People have, uh, you know, some people prefer different things. I prefer these ones. So let's put that up there. I like using thermal expansion for more advanced stuff. Whereas for this, you really don't need to do that. So let's get this and we'll pop you there. And we're going to bring you over the top into this guy. Now, I need to do it without having anything touching, which, you know, shouldn't be that bad. I wonder if it's going to touch that. Are you going to touch this and make my life a living nightmare? No? Good stuff. There we go. And there it is. <laughs> Good stuff. So that's going to do that. That's going to make seared whatnot for us. We're going to need, if we're going to do that as well, a timer or a clock. Yeah. Nice. One redstone clock. So we're going to need four redstone. We're going to need a little bit of this. A little bit of that so it all makes it. So let's get a four bits, I believe. Sweet! Oh my god, it's raining again. Literally. You know you get those rainmaker things in this for those that have never had rain. I seem to get rain every day. Like, it's never-ending rain. Well, it does end eventually, but it's, it's always raining. <laughs> so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and fit our pipes onto it. We're going to want to automate this little guy first. So let's put you onto there. And hopefully that should do the trick. It's going to take a minute to get this uh, smell weird, but it's something I can just leave in the meantime and it should work just fine. I think that's where you place it. It might need to be on top of this one, but I'm pretty sure that's where you place it. And that will start this little guy doing his thingy once we actually manage to get something there. Let's give it a second, see if it's working. Hopefully it is. And for every one of these we get, we get a little bit of seared stone. Uh, liquid seared stone. Yep, there it is. That should have just gone in there. Yep, good stuff. 36 out of 144. And once we get 144, we get ourselves a seared brick, and that seared brick can be used to enhance the size of our smeltery. So it's a little bit of a roundabout way of doing it, but it does mean that we're not going to use up loads of grout clay and gravel to be able to make all of the bricks. And with that, with the uh, you know, with the gravel and the dust and the sand, I can sift it instead to get metal. So. For everything that we're not doing on this, making it bigger, I'm saving it making more metal. It's just going to take a little bit more time. And you know what? I don't mind waiting around. Uh, so let's get this guy as well. So we're going to want the stuff to come out of here, and it's going to go into our, uh, our barrel. Uh, it's a little bit wonky because I don't want to go falling down the hole, but I think what we will do is, to make sure I don't fall down the hole, <laughs> we'll place it right here. So we'll actually put that on top. There it is. And then whenever we get ourselves enough uh, enough in there to be, actually, to be able to make a seared stone, it will go in there. So I just want to take a minute to point out the stuff that we can actually make this out of. Because we don't have to just use cobblestone. There's other things we can use to be able to make it. If we have a look inside here, if you actually take the time to compress the cobblestone, you'll get more out of it as well. Which is pretty good. So I'm thinking I might actually do that. But we need triple compressed cobblestone will give us 1,000 or give us a ton of seared stone. Compressed cobblestone of 9 will give us 162. And then we have the double compressed or quadruple compressed. Or you can just do what I'm doing and just throw in regular plain old cobblestone. Which isn't bad, you know. It does the trick. So, there's that. You can, like I say, you can use all these if you want. But I'm just going to do it like this for now. It's going to make uh, it's gonna make the stuff for us. It's going to give us all of this. You can see we've got another one in there, 72 out of 144. It's going to take some time, but it is going to work. And as soon as we get four, we can upgrade the size of this again. Uh, four, maybe a little bit more than that. But once we get more than that, we can upgrade the size of this again. I have got a few spare seared bricks, but I think I'm going to hold on to those for making more faucets and outputs later down the line. But, yeah, there you go. That's how it's going to be done. And uh, the reason for placing this above the lava is that it will burn it. It will melt it a lot faster. Melting speed 2.0 times. Whereas if you look at the ones over here. And this is because all the guys let me know to do that. Uh, I don't really have a need to do it over here. Because I'm not going to be using much of this lava. But this is only 1.0 if you place it above a torch. You can also place it above Neverrag that's on fire. That's another way of doing it. So there you have it. But I think that's going to be that for today's episode guys. 
Once I come back in the next one, I'm going to leave this running for a little while, you know, go do some other bits. We should have a nice amount of seed stone that I can increase the size of the smeltery. Then we'll look into getting our ores getting smelted, which would be great. Hopefully by then as well, I will have some of the Britannia plants done. And we can look into upgrading our tools as well as getting on with some of the other quests. You know, we have a lot of quests to be doing. We have the blazers playing with dolls. So these, this is basically how you spawn blazers and stuff in this. So we'll have that. As well as all of these. Find a surprise. <laughs> So I guess we need to go to the, uh, we need to go to the nether. And, uh, oh, we got access to Tinker's Toys now. That's another one. So I'm smelting. We actually need to make 16 Sid Bricks and that gives us a gear case. Wow. We don't need to do that just yet. <laughs> as well as all of these parts. Now we can start smelting everything up, which is going to be awesome. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to drop a like. And in the next one, we'll be back to make some more cool, funky stuff. If you have any, you know, if you have any tips or tricks, then make sure as always to put it in the comment section so that I can have a little looky see if you have any questions or anything pop them in there as well and I'll have a little look but for now that's it I'll see you guys in the next episode have yourself a great day have a good one as always and bye bye <laughs>